we are in the White House kitchen, and we are very excited because we are brewing our second round of, of White House beer. This round we're actually brewing uh, another honey ale, and we're gonna brew a honey porter. Brewing beer is becoming a, a thing that Americans are doing in their homes and garages across the country. The president certainly thought it'd be a great idea to see if we could uh, join uh, the American people in that time-honored tradition and, and brew some of our own beer. So we got the recipe from a local brewmaster. Matt Slattery helped us get this going uh, from the Navy Mess. And Charlie Brandt, who actually is our beekeeper, uh, also brews at home and so gave us some tips. So we adapted our recipe and, and really made it our own. This is the, uh, the steeping grain for the uh, honey porter. So what you do is you put this in the, in the beginning stages. After that, you add in the hops. Each one is different. The honey porter has three stages of hops. First, we have to get it up to 170 degrees to extract the flavors from the grains, and then we take the, um, the grains out. And then we add the malt with the honey. The official White House beer cellar, the beer room, uh, to check in on how our beer is going. I'm not sure if any camera has been down here before. All right. Welcome to the White House beer room. Here's the honey porter and the honey brown. We are monitoring temperature. We are monitoring how often the, we have bubbles. So this will continue to ferment uh, for a few more days and we'll transfer it into these and let it distill. We've transferred the honey uh, porter into the uh, second fermentator. As it's siphoning like this, you don't want it to go too fast. Uh, creating a, a lot of air which would make the beer taste better. They're all topped off. You want to at least get the water to the to the to the neck. Caps back on it. Now we wait. You gotta keep it under lock and key. <laughs> you don't see any settlement and that's due in part to that screen that's at the bottom of the siphoning. Once it's in here the only thing that has to be done is add the bottling sugar. So now we head upstairs. What you do is you take the bear bottle and you basically you let it fill all the way to the top. And once you remove the, the bottle, the bear drops automatically to the right level. You let it sit in the bottle for another two to three weeks. And then from there into the refrigerator and then it's ready for consumption. The only thing you have left to do is just put the labels on it and pop the top. So this is the honey ale. The president, inspired by brewmasters brewing in their homes and garages all over the country, wanted to, to try this out. And so uh, he, he's paid for all the equipment and all the ingredients and, and us chefs have worked on it on our spare time. And it's just become an amazing new tradition here at the White House. There has been a long history with presidents and various alcohols. George Washington had a whiskey distillery and he brewed beer at Mount Vernon and Thomas Jefferson grew grapes and, and made wine at Monticello, but we asked the curators, is there any history of brewing or distilling here at the White House? And so they looked, and it turns out that there was uh, some evidence of drinking during Prohibition, but beyond that, there's no evidence that any beer or liquor has been brewed or distilled. So we're very proud of our, of our new tradition here, and uh, we hope it lasts for years to come. God, that is one incredible beer, if I do say so myself. America, I wish everybody could taste this, but we, uh, we don't quite brew enough.